the uh, having these the uh, the ACC Big Ten Challenge, having the Cabot Cup, right, and now having the league start early like you did, it's just it's great for college basketball. These these Saturdays, you know, there's some playoffs going on in football, but they're much different Saturdays. And for us to, to take hold of a Saturday afternoon, have that great crowd again, right, play a really great program, just an overall tremendous program in the Purdue program, um, and then uh, play that way is special. And it's really proud of our kids the way they are. They're handling all this thing, and and it's uh, we just got we're just going to keep it going, but the same way we've been doing it, just every day, just going going to practice with great humility, uh, with great uh, work uh, habits, work ethic, and uh, get ready for our next game. We're going to have a tough Northwestern game on Tuesday in front of in their new arena or their their newly done arena, with I'm sure it's going to be a sellout crowd, and we just got to keep going day by day, but really. We're going to spend the rest of the state probably embracing the way we play. That's as good as we played. Uh, I guess Villanova would be a similar one. That's as good as we played all year. Ethan? John, how have you seen Jordan's shot selection improve just over the last year? Um, he, he's understanding, you know, if, if over the year it would be like drastically. I, I think I might have shared with you his summer stats going into his freshman, in his freshman year was like four for 36. I mean, if you saw the rim, he shot it. And with defenders, with Charles Matthews guarding him, that's not going to happen. So gradually learn that less is more, and he can get better shots. And guys like that that can get their own shot and have a lot of confidence, got to realize I'll take I'll take less shots, but I'll score more points. And that's that usually is pretty motivating to people. Charles Matthews uh, attempted to block that shot in the second half. They missed two free throws. To, to have him contest that and. Is that one of your highlights of the day as you look back over the second half? I'm trying at the start of the second half. Yeah. I'm trying to put that. Their big guy went up to make a dunk. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He went up. It looked like it was almost clean. Yeah, we caught. They caught us sleeping with a play that they ran, and uh, and the, the, he came in. No, that's where we challenged. I thought he had a great one of those. We didn't get, but Jordan Poole had another one. We called a jump wall. It's the new rule with the arc that we can straight up. You know, Jordan Jordan Poole would have would have, you know, he would have run right out of there last year. That he ran in there. It's, it's in, we said we told the team it's going to be the jump wall hall of fame. How he went up perfectly with his th his palms in the air, and uh, and to, but Charles is Charles got that 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 it about him that you're in for a fight when you're playing against him. Are you really actually typing while I'm talking like yeah, that? Exactly. Uh, you're you are skilled. Like you are skilled. I can tell. You're right with the right. You're distracting me because I how does he know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Yes. John, how is starting and getting more playing time affected Jordan's rhythm for shooting? Well, I think he's got to play through his mistakes, and I think it, as long as Luke, uh, his numbers defensively right now are really good as we chart contested shots and missed assignments. And so now I think that his relationship with me is I'm giving him a little bit more leash I would, because he I realize he's bought in on those other things. Last year, again, he was a typical freshman. Defense was not a priority. Right, and now it's it's becoming a priority for him. So, when he's more comfortable in who he is and, and what we appreciate in his game, we got to embrace what he can do. He can shoot the ball. Carson Edwards got his 19, but seven for 21. Were you pleased yeah. with the way you guys? Yeah, just him? you know, he I've never seen that two guys coming in averaging 4.4 threes a, a game. Now Klein got Charles is not happy. Klein got three, but he only got one off in the second half, and then Carson. You know that's that's what Xavier Xavier embraces that. That's what he, that's how he can he can really show what a good player he is. But he's been averaging four. How many? I forget how many he took. Uh, but he he only he only got one, right? And so that's that was part of the game plan. Um, I think it's a part of every a lot of people's game plan is to make sure that their good shooters don't get open looks. And then with and John, the one, he, one of the ones that he made was when Iggy was on him. And he, we went under a screen, which we never should have done. And then after the first game, you said John Teske, you needed more from him. Yep. Are you starting to see the consistency that you wanted? Yeah, from those out-of-area rebounds, we're just seeing now for the first time. I think if we recall Mo, when Mo was not rebounding at all, and then all of a sudden it just sort of it comes to them. They realize where with the angles, how to how to use your body better, and uh, that those are not fair. those eight rebounds. He's playing his big boys in there. He rebounds, and then the two threes back to back is a huge step now for him. 
that he's never, you know, never made one in the game until that one against Providence, and he's had a couple bad misses. He wasn't good at the foul line the other night against North Carolina. Now all of a sudden he, he's good from the foul line and makes that. That's that's a confidence thing that that he he it will empower him going forward. In the back was that sticking with Teske, what impressed you about him this summer? I know he stuck around. Conditioning was a big focus for him. Yeah, that that there's a lot of Camp Sanderson stuff going on out there on the court. That he he been in there. You know, John is not the guy that is, you know, going to talk a lot about it. But for him to spend, you know, he he loves Cleveland. He loves Ohio. He's listening to the Indians at night. You know, he's big. Brad. He loves to be home. He's got a great family. For him to spend 16 straight weeks with eight of it voluntary for him to come in and, and spend time with Coach Sanderson says a lot about who he is. And it's it's just starting to pay off as he continues this growth. Who knows what can happen for him? Uh, Jay? John, there were uh, a couple t or two notable stretches there in the game where you guys really couldn't find a shot on mm -hmm. the offensive end, but your defense was stout enough that Purdue couldn't yeah. even get the six. When they got down to 12, we still didn't finish. Right. So, but how proud are you of the fact that in years past when those were kind of part of your teams that yeah. tonight it really wasn't an issue? Well, yeah, I am. I'm very proud of them because it's it's something that we, we're going to do no matter what the score is. But they're learning that sometimes you're not going to make a foul shot. You're going to turn it over. You have a tough refs call, right? Your defense can be the one constant. And as long as we keep embracing that, right, we can keep having success. John, you guys really attacked the top of the key, top of the break from the three-point line. What did you see from Purdue's defense? It's just like they did last year, and we didn't expect it at all. They switched everything we did. So the best thing when you get in those situations is get downhill on their when their big guy steps out to guard, get downhill and, and you know we use the alleys really to, to get penetration and find other people. So it's it's uh, I, I completely unexpected, but we have enough history in it from doing it last year, and we also saw it from Villanova during the year. So let's just go and do it, Stay and we here. we have a game plan for it. Stay here with Tail. John, how much does it help um, get guys like Jordan and Iggy open when guys who don't hit threes as often like Charles and, and John are hitting their threes? Yeah, I think it, it, it's all about our passing, really, that we're seeing each other. The ball stuck a couple times today, but other than that, if we can just keep moving the ball um, and, and keep good live action, somebody's going to come open. Somebody's going to make a mistake and leave one of our guys. So it's a... Uh, they're really a team right now, and they sort of got to learn that the open or the good shot is the next open man. It's not my shot. It's what's the next open man? And we got to trust that because all all the perimeters and now John, everybody's uh, is shooting the ball and has confidence. So let's shoot it when we're open and drive it when we're not, or keep the ball moving. On your right with Nick. Yeah, I know it's only December, but yeah, it's, it's December now. Nick. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's December. I, I took that November calendar. Yeah. I took it away, so that was a pretty good month. I mean, yeah, I mean, you guys are beating everybody by at least 17. It's early, I know, but are you having a hard time finding, like, reasons to say, okay, this isn't good enough, or we need to do this? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I, no, no, I'm, I'm finding things. No, I'm finding the thing. I'm as, 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 the same way I'd always be, what can we do better? What do we got to do better? And we'll, we'll have to practice just like that tomorrow and, and the next day. Three games in six days, we get a, we're a little bit um, taxed, and, but we'll watch a lot of film. Uh, the last time we, uh, after the Carolina game, our, our, our seven watched an hour of film, cut up, right, good, a lot of good stuff, but also some things. And then at, while, they, while we were working the Brandon Johns, they went back and watched some more. So whatever we can do to rest them right now, get them to continue to learn that the way basketball should be played, the way they should, they got to share the ball, it's all good for us. Do you feel like as a collective, though, they're picking this up faster? Yeah, I, I think that, that the ones that are um, have had here enough made a point to tell Brandon Johns, hey, li hey, listen, Harms wasn't even on our scouting report as a freshman, right? You, you, there's a chance that you just got to continue to, like, grow. But the other guys have picked up a lot, and Iggy is exceptional with how he's picked things up. But, like, today I met with him 15 minutes. While the other guys are working out, Iggy and I were just talking basketball, uh, today, just so he can continue to grow in it. We're here with Tom. John, Matt Painter was talking about he, he thought your seven-man rotation was kind of somewhat of a sweet spot because everybody <coughs> in the rotation.
rotation, get their 15 minutes. Yeah. Do you plan expanding that, or what's the objective on a long-term basis? Well, I, I, we want, we love to get David and Brandon in particular. They're the ones that are showing things in practice, ready for Big Ten play. For whatever, if we need them in foul trouble, um, if we need them with, uh, uh, if there's ever an injury, because we've been blessed in that area. So that's that's the goal to have them ready. They and but you, if you have a seven or eight man rotation. That's not the end of the world either, right? That's really good, but you got to stay healthy. So you, get, you can't just say, hey, we're good. we got a good seven, and forget about your other guys. Those, we got to work them so that they're really ready when that time comes. And a lot of teams are, are trying to still figure out what their rotation is. For whatever reasons, we've, we've figured it out through all our practices, and we're going with it. We've got time for a few more. James? Uh, John, defending a three didn't know was part of the game plan. I guess pretty, how well yeah. do you feel he was executed? In the well, we miss it. We miss him. Iggy went underneath the screen one time, and we lost Klein. Uh, Isaiah stood there and watched Klein. We were we, Wheeler. We didn't expect that out of him. Those were deep threes, and he got two there. And then uh, it's really hard, as as people find out with us, to defend a five and can shoot it. Right. So, so Evan hit those that one. That that sort of was the difference. Our thing was that that uh, Edwards uh, and Klein were not getting making eight today, right? And they made four total. So that that's that sort of was our mindset going in. Andrew? Coach, uh, Coach Painter said he, he feels like you guys can win in the 60s, win in the 90s, I think he said. I mean, do you feel this team can, can adapt to different styles and, and win different Well, that's, that's the plan, but we have a long way to, to, to go on that. You know, we got to go on the road again Tuesday and play in a hostile environment. There's a, there's a, there's, we got we got to win in the face of adversity. We got to win in the face of foul trouble, right? Um, we got to win in the face where people just can't make a shot, and still find ways to win before you find out if we're really good. Jake, if you want to close this. Yeah. Uh, John, did you feel there was a turning point in the game today? No. I mean, I, I think one of the, one of the, when they got it down to 12. Uh, if you remember a couple of years ago, it was the same game, and Derek Walton hit a circus shot. Uh, then when it, got, it was ready to go the other way. If they would have got lower than that, that would have been tough because we were, we were not able to score the ball. So I think probably getting those stops when they got it to 12, and then John, I think John hit the three. It, we might have got a two, and then John hit a three. John made the two foul shots and then hit a three. That probably was it because five minutes ago, a 12-point lead against those guys is nothing. So I, I would say it would be that. Okay, Coach. All right, thanks, everyone.